So today I'm going to be doing a bit of an experiment and porting my standard exhaust manifold. This actually helps your turbo flow better. So I know I have a problem with my turbo where it hits 22 pounds and instead it comes back to about 14, 15. So as you can see here, the um, there is a bit of a discrepancy between the actual turbo size and the manifold size. So we've got about, say about seven mil all the way around the sort of circumference there that can be taken out of the factory exhaust manifold. And essentially today, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So that's the tip that I'm gonna be using. It's just one that I had lying around. So hopefully it'll do the trick, but if it doesn't, I'll have to get something else. So I'm gonna get stuck into it and try and remove this sort of uh, seven or so mil of the exhaust manifold. been going there for a couple of minutes and it seems to be taken quite a bit out there and it doesn't seem too difficult to do um, obviously it's a cast iron exhaust manifold I thought it'd be a lot sort of harder to do but it seems to be moving along quite easily so a little bit more done this is kind of taken Probably about 15 minutes so from this angle you can actually see how much I'm taking out which is quite a fair bit and here is the finished product as you can see I've um, managed to take that whole lip that we could previously see in the um, earlier video completely out and although it's not perfect it's um, come up pretty good and I'll show you now with the turbo how well port matched it really is so with my set of vernier calipers if I measure this one here we are at 42 millimeters now the smaller turbo Forty two millimeters as well. And finally, if I get my um, recently ported exhaust manifold, we are at forty two millimeters as well. Pretty much spot on. So if we put this on the um, GT twenty two, we can see that it is pretty close to matched on the actual gasket itself um, same as with the um, GT1749 if I put that gasket on there as you can see it's pretty well matched now if we take this and put it on the um, recently ported exhaust manifold we can now see that that is pretty matched as well unfortunately I'm going to have to end this video here there will be a part two coming where I actually fit this exhaust manifold into the Ford Ranger and go do a couple of test pulls to see if it's made any difference at all or whether this has been a complete waste of time. So I'm going to leave it in your hands as to how soon I actually fit this exhaust manifold. So if this video gets a heap of likes and I see a lot of interest in it, I'll fit it sooner rather than later. Otherwise, I'll have to wait till I've got the spare time to do it and then make part two of the video then. So until next time, see you guys later.